Well, we asked 406 banks to report to us if they had or not any funds from Mobutu and his family or associated persons. And out of these 406, we got six banks which responded positively. All the rest said we have nothing. And those six have funds in the equivalent of altogether 4.8 million Swiss francs. So it's a fairly moderate sum compared with all the billions that uh, rumors have claimed to be here in Switzerland or which the Zaire government recently uh, mentioned that they suspected would still be around. I mean, we got a response from everybody. So if 400 banks tell you we have nothing, it's a merely a question of the audit firms to check whether that information is correct. But otherwise, we would not have to deal with those banks anymore. Um, the banks we're going to look at more closely and ask um, explanations are the ones which still have, uh, have reported funds, especially one bank which had 4 million out of the 4.8 uh, million. That will have some answers to, uh, to give. I don't know if it ever has been uh, billions, but uh, clearly uh, we already said before we made that request, uh, that uh, survey, that it's very unlikely that there are substantial amounts in Switzerland because the Swiss banking system has learned its lesson at the latest in the case of Ferdinand Marcos in 86, when the government ordered a freeze, when there was a big procedure going on. So they knew we do not uh, want to accept such funds. So it's unlikely that there are substantial funds. It is, of course, always possible that people can arrange themselves in such a way that they can hide uh, funds behind a lot of screens and constructions, but even then it could never be billions. And I would expect these funds either not to exist anymore because he, he's used so much, he's wasted his money, or because uh, he's put it elsewhere because he thought Switzerland is too hot a, a spot for him.